So by now, hopefully you're interested in the Engage initiative, but you're asking questions like I am, how much is this going to cost, right? This is probably the first question that we get asked every single time, no matter what, and it's the most sensitive part of the whole conversation. And, and the answer really is, it's complicated. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear, but it's the truth. Let me, let me try to explain some things. I'm going to throw some numbers at you, so hopefully we can, we can uh, put, simplify it as much as possible. Currently, commercial construction is about 300 bucks per square foot. And, and the main building that we've designed is about 19,000 square feet. So simple math says that that's $5.7 million for just the building. Now, then there's this thing called soft cost. And soft costs on raw land development and furnishings, that's how do we prep the site and how do we fill the building with things like chairs and audio video equipment and toys for the kids. So soft costs on raw land development and furnishings could be anywhere from $1 million to $3 million. And there's a lot of variables at play here behind the scenes with several development partners and even the city of Shirts. That, that puts our total worst case all in cost somewhere around $9 million. Now, if you're thinking like me, you realize that $40.90 per month isn't going to make that happen. In, in fact, if we were to finance six million dollars, a six million dollar loan would result in a monthly mortgage payment of in and around about forty-five thousand dollars per month. So now I'm, I'm asking the question, how are we going to afford this building? And there's really a couple different options for us being able to afford a loan like this with some margin to operate. First, we could have someone who has a rich uncle that donates several million dollars. <laughs> now that's far-fetched, but it is possible. And if you have an uncle like that, let me just say the time to call him is now, right? But on a serious note, there will likely be an opportunity and a need to raise some money from outside sources. And we want to be open and creative towards engaging those sources. So we'll invite other churches to partner with us. We'll look at available grants for community development projects or even potential business investors depending on the type of structure that we build. The second thing we can do is, the second option to how are we going to afford this is just to simply raise the money ourselves. Now at our current rate of giving, that would mean we would need to grow our budget without increasing any expenses by more than 150%. That would mean for impact. That would mean our total donations for the whole year would be need to be somewhere in and around $900,000. And just for reference, in 2023, our total annual giving receipts totaled right at $400,000. So we'd need to more than double that, uh, plus some, in order to afford it ourselves. Now, because of the value of our land, we won't be required to make a hefty down payment on a loan like this. We just have to show that we can make a $45,000 per month payment. So as previously stated, $40.90 a month is just simply a baby step. It's a baby step in that direction, and the more people that we can get engaged, the better. Now this is a possibility to do it all on our own, but it's gonna take a little while to get that done. The third option is that we consider some more unconventional building plans that might allow for some alternative income streams and some lower cost ratios. Now this, op this option is very doable, would likely be the fastest way to a building uh, for us, but it, it, would be, it would be almost like putting phase two of our master plan into a phase one space. So our worship space would be a lot smaller. We'd probably be in multiple services from the beginning. Uh, we, would, we would also, uh, we would own our space and we would have some greater financial viability. Now this may be more difficult, for sure more complicated, because it would require a specialized nonprofit tax attorney, likely a full-time business manager, and some very, very out-of-the-box thinking. So likely the solution, the answer to the question, how are we going to afford a building like this, is something like D, all of the above. Will we look for outside partners? Yes. Now, it may not be a rich uncle, although we're not ruling it out. 
But we will look for people, for businesses and organizations that see what God is doing here at Impact Church and they want to be a part of it. Now to do it ourselves, we will, we will just simply have to grow. It's simple math, simple truth. We want, we need to be a church that makes an eternal impact on our community, not just one who has a fancy country club-like facility. So if we were to double the size of our church, we would see giving and engagement that would follow. And, and, then, and then with a, an intent and a desire to engage our community, we've looked at plans that would meet some of the needs, some of the light commercial needs of our immediate community and provide some space for people to interact, to hang out, and to enjoy God's creation in our community. So no matter which direction we end up taking, we don't want to take a step without God. God will open these doors. God will make provisions. He will guide His people. We just simply have to be obedient to follow His lead, no matter what it looks like for us. And, and as we get down the path a little bit, We'll come to a point of decision regarding our first building phase, what we want to put first and what we want to put second. And, and when we get there, you have my word that we'll get everyone together, we'll lay out all the plans, we'll pray together, we'll discuss things, and we'll make a decision together on the right first steps for Impact Church.